After weeks of investigations and uncertainty, Christian Horner, the principal of the Red Bull Formula One team, has been cleared of wrongdoing after allegations from a female employee. As a result, Christian Horner will remain in his role as team principal. Now, let's dig into the details. The cost cap controversy of 2022 posed significant challenges for Red Bull, yet it pales in comparison to the recent turmoil and scrutiny that have engulfed Red Bull Racing. The initiation of an investigation following allegations from a female employee thrust Christian Horner into the eye of a media storm. The media went wild, and Horner found himself at the center of it all, fighting to save his job and reputation in Formula One. Despite carrying on with his duties, like attending the RB20 launch and overseeing pre-season testing, Horner seemed worn out and drained. He's usually full of confidence, but this time, the investigation took a toll on him emotionally. People were talking all sorts of things about what Horner might have done, and the stories didn't match up. Some were extreme, and sources close to the team dismissed them strongly. Unfortunately, because of the investigation's confidentiality rules, we may never know exactly what happened. As the Red Bull statement said on Wednesday, the investigation report is confidential and contains the private information of the parties and third parties who assisted in the investigation, and therefore, we will not be commenting further out of respect for all concerned. Red Bull will continue striving to meet the highest workplace standards. As for Horner, he probably won't say much about it when he shows up at the Bahrain Padder. Red Bull's parent company is keen to shift the focus back to track matters, hoping to leave behind any lingering fallout from recent events. However, what's especially interesting is how the situation has revealed the intentions of those aiming to oust Horner from his role. In the competitive realm of Formula One, teams frequently investigate each other, looking for any edge they can gain. As Max Verstappen aptly put it, that is a constant tactic in F1, one that is always used. Such strategies are commonplace in the intense world of F1 competition. Amidst the speculation, questions linger about the involvement of various stakeholders within the Red Bull global operation. From the Thai majority owners to the Austrian parent company, Helmut Marko and the Verstappens, the dynamics behind the scenes remain a subject of intrigue. Were there internal disagreements about the direction the team should take? Were some individuals attempting to instigate change at the highest level? Personal agendas and vendettas may have also played a role. Only those intimately involved truly know the answers. As we look ahead, the fate of Horner's role within the Red Bull F1 team hangs in the balance. As the team moves forward, the aftermath of recent events could reshape internal dynamics and interpersonal relationships. The recent tumultuous events surrounding Christian Horner's position have shed light on his influence within the organization. While the uncertainty of his future may have presented challenges, it also prompted reflection on his significant impact on the team. Many within the organization couldn't envision anyone else leading the team effectively at this juncture. Despite the difficulties, there was a shared desire among key stakeholders, including Horner himself, to swiftly resolve the situation. Ford's letter urging Red Bull to address the uncertainty echoed Horner's sentiments. He, too, was eager for the investigation to conclude, allowing the team to move forward unencumbered by distractions. Behind closed doors, Horner received widespread support from team partners and employees, underscoring the unity within the organization. This solidarity was evident during a recent factory briefing where Horner was bolstered by a show of support from the team. Addressing the team at the RB20 launch, Horner emphasized the unity within Red Bull Racing and the unwavering support from shareholders, particularly following Dietrich's passing. This support is evident in the significant investments made in projects like powertrains and the team's future in Formula One. With Horner's return to the paddock and the resolution of immediate concerns surrounding the investigation, Red Bull Racing can now shift its focus back to preparing for the upcoming race season. But before that, 
We know you wouldn't want to miss out on more exclusive content like this. So, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with all the latest in the world of Formula One. Let us move on. Christian Horner had previously labelled the investigation into his conduct as a distracting ordeal for the reigning constructors champion. With the inquiry now concluded, the team can fully focus on their preparations for the upcoming race in Bahrain. However, the implications of the investigation's aftermath remained less clear. The prolonged investigation undoubtedly took its toll on the team. The news of Horner being under investigation first surfaced in early February through reports from German and Dutch media, catching many by surprise. Red Bull Austria later confirmed the validity of these reports, thrusting the team into a month-long period of intense scrutiny and speculation, even amidst the launch of their 20th Formula One car. The public disclosure of the inquiry, coupled with damaging leaks regarding the evidence presented and rumors of Horner's potential resignation, cast a shadow of seriousness over the matter. Various team principals and observers echoed these sentiments, underscoring the gravity of the situation. While the complaint and subsequent investigation may have been dismissed, it's essential to acknowledge the underlying issues and disagreements that prompted them. The fact that the complainant reportedly continues to work within the team suggests a complex dynamic at play. Moreover, beyond the individual grievance, there seems to be a broader political context within Red Bull Racing, characterized by management tensions and potential power struggles. The aftermath of the investigation has brought these internal dynamics to the forefront, raising questions about the team's leadership and internal cohesion. Once the dust settles, and assuming there's no appeal or legal entanglement, the political dynamics within Red Bull Racing are bound to shift into a new phase. Rumors have been swirling for months about a potential rift between Christian Horner, the team principal, and Helmut Marko, the motorsport advisor. Despite attempts to downplay any discord, murmurs of tension have persisted, especially following the passing of Dietrich Matischitz, Red Bull's founder and significant shareholder. Speculation suggests that Marco aligns with a group including Oliver Mintzlaff, the CEO of Corporate Projects and New Investments at Red Bull, who oversees the F1 program. On the other hand, Horner reportedly garners support from Chabar Muvigia, the majority shareholder holding 51% ownership and son of Chelio Uvidia, the Thai mogul behind the original Red Bull formula. Horner's recent exoneration raises significant questions. Will he use this newfound confidence to consolidate his authority within the team? If there were any dubious dealings behind the leaks, would there be repercussions? Furthermore, the necessity of a substantial external investigation the specifics of which remain undisclosed, may have undermined Horner's position within Red Bull. Consequently, there could be attempts to restructure the program and reduce his influence, which he has carefully cultivated over two decades as the team's leader. The Formula One paddock is often described as a piranha club, where self-interest prevails even within formidable teams like Red Bull Racing. As the focus returns to the track this weekend, the team aims to capitalize on its early season advantage to defend both the constructors' and drivers' titles. In the ruthless realm of Formula One, success on the track acts as the ultimate defense against internal maneuvering. While uncertainties persist regarding the internal power dynamics at Red Bull Racing, winning remains Christian Horner's most formidable shield against any behind-the-scenes politicking. Despite the challenges and uncertainties, one thing is certain, Horner's competitive spirit remains unwavering. He refuses to let the recent turmoil weaken his resolve or distract the team from its primary objective. With determination in his heart, Horner remains steadfast in his commitment to maintain focus amidst the storm of adversity. The allegations against Horner, if left unresolved, could have had significant repercussions for Red Bull Racing. Firstly, they would have created a cloud of uncertainty and distraction within the team, potentially affecting morale and focus. 
The ongoing media scrutiny and speculation surrounding the allegations could have tarnished the team's reputation and credibility, impacting sponsorships and partnerships. Moreover, unresolved allegations could have led to internal discord and division within the team, affecting teamwork and performance on the track. It may have also affected Horner's leadership and authority within the organization, causing instability and undermining his ability to manage the team effectively. As the Bahrain Grand Prix unfolds, Red Bull Racing aims to silence any doubts with a commanding performance on the track. For Horner and his team, victory serves not only as a statement of strength, but also as a testament to their resilience in the face of adversity. Now over to you. How much of an impact do you think these allegations against Horner would have had on Red Bull if they weren't resolved on time? Share your opinions in the comment section below. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video.